Humor me. I'm, a, I'm an alien. I've never been to this planet. I'm trying to understand your world. When women turn 21, they go to the temple to get impregnated by the holy semen. Coming up for you, yes? Yes. You're 20. 20. Okay, you're planning it for the fall and for the graduation. And I am, yeah. My dads are going to be here, so I figured, why not? It's easier. Okay, so here's the temple. And every young woman goes there when she is... 21. 21. Okay, and how, what, what happens in here? We know that... Men go to the temple. Okay, here's my Mr. Man. Do, 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 do. They donate their semen. Okay. And it needs to be blessed by the priest. Ah, and why is that important? We were created by the semen that was blessed. We're not just like animals in the woods just having sex with each other. We're and different. If the semen was not blessed, you would be a child of? Man. man. Child of man. Is that so wrong? I cannot imagine a guy doing that, trying to... No. Now, do any of you have any straight friends? No. no. Well, I venture to guess there are probably some straight people at this college. There may even be a straight person in this room right now. Okay, none of you, obviously, of course. <laughs> and why is, it a problem? why is it a problem if a straight couple have a baby? Because that child's a product of sin. And what happens to the child? It goes to hell. Ah, I see. Okay. All right, moving on. Let's talk about other gender roles in the Bible. Thank you for bringing that up. What about the men? What does the Bible say about men? So, today, most men, well, they raise the kids. Of and, course. you know, if they don't have kids, then they just work like everybody else. Yeah. So. And that makes sense, right? Disciples are fishers of men. Now they're the, they're the raisers of our children. Makes perfect sense. Now look at this specimen over here. He's a descendant of a disciple. This guy knows how to raise a kid. Women, why would you want to raise a kid with this guy? Because he's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> That's why I separate you guys, all right? Look, men know what men want, and women know what women want. So this is a vision. Dude, why are we wasting Two our time men. talking about this? I don't even know. And a baby. How God meant it to be. Dude, how much you want to bet that he's like so a closet head? it sounds head like this world would be very difficult <laughs> Probably. to live in. An all-straight world if you're gay? Well, guess what? Now you get a chance to write a paper about how you would survive. Aww. A survivor's guide to being gay in a straight world. You can do it. Five pages due next week. What's Why? the point? Aww. This is a cultural studies class. The point is to question things you presume are true or natural or descended from heaven. Believe it or not, Society changes, and in the future, people might look at you guys as being a little bit backward. Or not. Just try it. Expand your mind. Give it a shot. All right, see you next week. He's definitely straight. Told you. Please leave a message after the tone. Oh, um, hi. I can't believe it's you. I, I'm sorry, let me explain. You see, I'm your mother. A friend of mine works at the temple where I gave birth to you. And she... Well, she helped me find the records of where you were placed. I'm sorry I didn't come looking for you sooner. I was so afraid about what would happen if people found out. I didn't want you to feel ashamed. I wanted to keep you safe. I never wanted to give you up. If things were different and if this, if it wasn't against the law, I would have married your father who I loved very much and, and raised you as our own. Just remember, no matter what the law says, you're not a child of man, you're a child of mine. <laughs>